Hello there! Welcome to Making Money for Your Mount, a guide to earning for yourself enough money to buy a sweet, sweet mount. My name is Tusky, and today we'll discuss travelling in style, or rather, how to make the money to do so. The level 15 mounts in Wildstar cost about 10 gold, 60 silver, and if you've not spent any money, sold and not salvaged items, and really not spent a single copper on anything ever, then maybe you'll be able to afford it when you reach level 15. However, for the rest of us, especially if you spent money on housing like I did, then you'll need to make yourself some money. Just remember, this guide is for the Dominion. If you're in exile, and if you are, you should strongly reconsider your life choices, then just mirror what I've done here with your own zone. Doing this is pretty simple. Here you can see me in Derajune, the second area for levelling as Dominion. I'm at Feral Plain Collective, it's just north of Bloodfire Village where you start in Derajune. As a note, you have to be at least level 10 for this. It also helps to be about level 13 or higher, so you can wander around the zone without too much trouble from enemies. Head to the crafting trainer and learn two gathering skills. Don't worry, you can sort them out for crafting ones whenever you'd like. Here I've gone for relic hunting and survivalist. You could always go for mining if you wanted instead. Once that's done, go to the nearby trade skill vendor and buy for yourself the associated gathering tools. You can only equip one at a time, so try having it at the bottom of your inventory and having your inventory open for quick swapping. Now, just start wandering around. Find nodes of resources, iron, trees or relic nodes. Farm them up. I prefer Relic Hunter as I tend to find a lot of Relic Nodes near Elden facilities, and Survivalist as trees are just about everywhere. Try to stick near roads to get the movement buff, and spend some time gathering up resources. This may take anywhere between an hour to three to gather a large stockpile, but I have noticed that at about 200 Omniplasm from Relic Hunting, I got a warning in my trade skill bag suggesting that I could only carry 250 at max, so make sure you sell your stuff well before going over the maximum. Now, how do you sell your stuff? Simple. Head to Ilium, your capital. You can get there by following the road to the east out of Derajune. Head to the northern part of the spaceport and find the commodity broker. Go to the Sell Now tab. Here you can sell the stuff you've gathered, but be warned! I've noticed that a lot of the trade skill items sell on the commodity broker for less than they would vendor. Mouse over the item you want to sell and check its vendor price before you sell it. This may change depending on your server and the growing economy. In a month or three months, the situation may very well be reversed, so be smart and make sure you check up on the amount of money the items are worth. Here, almost all of my items sell for less on the commodity broker than they do at a vendor, so find yourself a vendor. Hit the Sell tab. Open up your inventory, and hit the button in the bottom left to open up your trade skill inventory. Right click on the item you want to sell to move it to your default inventory. It will then appear in the vendor's sell list. Sell away! Once you know what the general price of items is on the commodity broker, you can sell your gathered resources at any vendor in Derajune, allowing for much quicker farming of resources and money. It took me about 3 or 4 hours of grinding to gather about 22 gold, enough for me and my friend to get mounts. With a bit of dedication and patience, you should be able to put this to work in any zone once you're high enough for it. Obviously, the higher level the zone, the better the resources, the more money you can make. Finally, don't forget that you can create plots at your house. I have a small mine full of relics that I can gather every couple of hours. It's very helpful. So there you are, a quick, simple guide for earning yourself your mount. You can do this as early as level 10 and have more than enough money to grab a mount to your higher level skills and to experiment with housing, all without going broke like I did. It's horrible. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any thoughts, make sure to leave a comment below and like or dislike the video. I'm always after feedback, so let me know what you think. You can contact me using the links in the description, or just leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to catch my videos as soon as they come out. Thank you very much for watching, and I wish you the best of luck with your moolah in Wildstar.